that's different than other waves I've seen with straightening irons mm -hmm. because of how wide this is. Exactly, that's the thing. You're mm. not, a lot of times, um, I have a lot of clients that tell me I use my styling iron to create waves, but it's too curly. I want it to just be a slight wave. The single pass X is your answer for that because look at how easy it is to create just a really slight wave, just a little slight bend. That's what you're going for. Well, if not, you're, not too much curl. Yeah, that that's pretty cool. Look at that. Oh wow! And, yeah. I would say especially for the front pieces, guys. Mm -hmm. Wow, that looks look great. At, I just did that just now. You guys watched it. I was able to get just that a little bit of finish. It's, it's a little pieces that you know how to do. And once you educate yourself and you know how to do it, here's another tip. If you're using something like the Single Pass X for the first time and you're getting used to it, try it with the iron off. So you get used to the motion. And then when you feel like you're very comfortable with the motion of this, then you can turn it on and you can see, because I know a lot of times you turn it on and it's hot and you get very intimidated by it and you're mm. like, I can't do it, I can't do it. And then you get weird kinks in your hair and then you give up and then you yeah. never try again. Right, right. You can do it. Believe well, me when I say you can do it. You know, we talk about that all the time here on BDIQ that you don't have to master something the very first time you do it. You know, go easy on yourself. Try it a couple times. I love that trick, that idea of trying it when it's um, off. Yep. I also am really enjoying that after you uh, use the iron, you do twist the hair Twist and let section. it cool yeah. into place. Now, um, beauties, the information for that iron is on the screen right now. It's also on six monthly payments, so that is sweet. You can pick that up at beautyiq.com as well. And anything that you've seen in the show up until this point. Um, I also just want to mention that uh, Sarah Ann is over here sitting next to me. She's been she cooling. Is. She's cool. I'm going to come over she, here. And not only is, is her hair cooling, but she's also been yes. multitasking here. She's been applying her makeup, checking her Instagram, et cetera, et cetera, here. And she also whispered over to me, I have that hair dryer, <laughs> and it's so much better than the drugstore. <laughs> oh, it is. You will never go back. You will never go but back. But you know what? We've all used the drugstore hair dryer. We all have. I mean, I had drugstore hair dryers just like I used a bar of soap to wash my face. It wasn't until I learned and had the education as to why I want to use something that was actually like sit down start watching the tv grab a cup of coffee your eyes are going to be glued he's what my mom would call adorable <laughs> and not only is he adorable but he also is a hair care expert a celebrity stylist and i mean not like you know b and c list celebrities like a plus 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 celebrities <laughs> like angels and people you see in Stop. magazines all no i can't i can stop go on I I can't. Can't. <laughs> well the problem is i could go on for the full hour with all the names that you that you work with but i'll stop being a name dropper and let you get to the tutorial here yeah all right so we're making crazy good fun effortless waves yeah. here so this is effortless waves this is with the volumizing hot rollers lux now when you think about your hot rollers that you probably have at home or these right now that you're soon gonna have at home you're not thinking that you could use them any other way especially with this one inch that we have here it's a set of eight it is our heat core technology it is the latest and greatest from t3 it is taking everything you know about a hot roller and turning it upside down and mixing it all up and making it even better now you're gonna see on Sarah Ann would you ever think that with eight rollers I could create effortless waves on this naturally straight and silky hair like this guess what I can I'm going to show you right now. I was going to go, it is. no, David. No, tell me. No, you can't. It's like a magic show. I'd say you can. Okay, so it's only eight rollers, so it's actually very simple. What I'm going to do is, and what you're going to do at home, is just take your hair and section it out right here from the top of the ear forward. And then you'll take a section here and tilt your head down for me. Perfect. You'll create a little triangle just like that. I don't know if you can see that. Creates a nice big section right there. Now, remember, these are effortless waves. Traditionally, you would be in the bathroom with the curling iron or the flat iron, whatever you're using to create this look, but guess what? Not today, ma'am. You're gonna be using hot rollers and only eight of them. Now look at this. What I'm gonna do is take her hair and wrap it around just like that. And you wanna leave the ends out. Oh, yeah. so you're getting that beach wave. Yeah, see that? You're so smart. I am so <laughs> smart for, for coming up with this. <laughs> and that's the thing. If you have, say, in your household, some with a very short hair and then some with very long hair, you can do this with two different people. And guess what? This is the best part. Sarah Ann's going to put this on, put the rollers in, and then she's going to go and check her Instagram, check her email, 
really check her Instagram. And then she can put her makeup on. Um, if you have kids at home, you can you know get the kids ready in the morning. It's kind of like the multitask. It's like the closest thing you'll ever to get to like the Jetsons versions of someone doing your hair for you. So what I'm really loving about this, first of all, is that her hands are not going to be tied up, just like you were saying. But what I'm noticing is that you're starting the roller kind of down, not necessarily right on the scalp. Right, exactly. Okay, and that's because we're going for this new, fresh, effortless wave look, it's right? It's effortless wave. Now remember, you want to twist it away from the face. If it makes it easier, if you have long hair, you can give your hair a little bit of a twist right before. You're going to start midway down and just give it a twist, just like that. Leave the ends out. Then you'll take the clip to secure it. And that's it. Don't worry about making it clean. This is about those effortless waves that you see in the magazine, that you see as a trend. That's what it's here for. Got it. Okay, um, now I'm noticing that you're just grabbing those rollers. No problem, you can put your hands on them. So yeah, you're not burning yourself, this. right? So Sarah, can hold on to this for me. So you can see that? You can hold on to this. It's not gonna burn your hand. We do have a rubberized edge. And like you were saying, it's the velvet flocking. That's what gives the hair that shine. Now, if you were to use these hot rollers in just, I would say, in its traditional way, you would notice something very immediate in that you would have a lot of shine and body in your hair. Now, imagine this. We're gonna get that same texture and that same finish, but now with kind of like a more modern, updated look, it's not gonna be as curly, as bouncy. It's really about just, again, the effortless, natural wave without reaching for the curling iron and guess what like I said before you're gonna have these in and you leave them in and then you go about your entire day okay so do we need to put them in I see you're kind of putting them in like long ways up and down yeah um, is that how we're achieving the effortless wave ver versus exactly. putting them in horizontally so I've done just this side very quickly just so you can see exactly what it looks like okay, okay? Now, I'm gonna point out the sectioning here. I started with that triangle section here, then I went to the rest of that side section, just one big section. I'll take it down and show you again. You can even Ooh. see how little time it had in that hair. Look at that effect that right, we already got. Right, now that's got. not even cooled off. No, it's not, exactly. And by the way, if you're wondering how long it takes to cool down, about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, and, and how about to heat up? To heat up about two, one to two minutes. Ah. Very quick, very easy. Got it. Then we took that one whole section, remember, we just twisted it away from the face, and then we wrapped it around, and we left those ends out. Because remember, we're going, that key there. That's the, that's probably the number one thing I get asked the most. David, what's your secret to effortless waves? David, how do you get waves? Yeah. Because if you go, I mean, if you go on my hair Instagram, David Lopez hair, my hair Instagram. Yeah, I know. Um, not my personal one, if you go my on my hair, hair one, you will see that I do a lot of waves. And when I found out this trick that I could do this and be able to give you at home the opportunity to do these waves while you're still able to do other things, that's that's magic right there, my friend. That is magic. Definitely. Okay, so now are you putting any product in this? So here's the thing with product and the hot rollers. If you wanna put the product in, you have two different times you can put your product in. Okay. You can put it in when it's damp. You can put in your favorite volumizing or texturizing product to give your hair some volume. Or you can put it in while it's dry, spray your hair with a little bit of hairspray with Sarah and we put a little bit of hairspray in her hair just to give it a little bit more texture. Don't worry about getting on the rollers. That velvet flocking is very smooth. Okay. It's not gonna catch any product. Don't worry about that. Well, one of the things I love about the velvet flocking is that if you do have slippery hair, it's there for grab. Exactly, it's I, not I gonna slip. I have very slippery hair, actually. Um, and so a lot of times with rollers, it just kind of pokes out. It pokes but not out. when you have the flocking. I mean, listen, I don't know any other rollers that you have that you could do this with, because they would be so heavy and dangling down everywhere, and you'd have those metal pins, and they're, they're also just not very secure right um, and again that's the thing about the hot rollers with t3 you want to make sure that you can do so many different things and these one inch were tradition traditionally you're probably thinking no that's someone for short hair they want a lot of curl no 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 no. let me let me show you the magic let me show you the tricks that happen behind the scenes my friends now one of the things i'm really interested in is the fact that you're using a one inch um roller right now and a lot of times you know we say okay well one inch is for shoulder length hair and above mm -hmm. that kind of thing but yep. obviously sarian has longer hair here yep. um so you know why is it that you chose that one inch the one inch is because sarah ann doesn't traditionally wear her hair really big and bouncy and that kind of blown out look she likes to actually have her hair a little bit more 
natural wave, a little bit more bounce, a little bit more, I would say trendy. So with the bigger size, she's not gonna get the finish that she's looking for. So I'm saying, hey, Sarah Ann, why don't we go for the one inch and I'll show you a different technique that you can do that's gonna give you that really nice textured wave that you're not going to have to reach for the curling iron. And guess what? We even talked about this. It has two different heat settings. So Sarah Ann has highlighted hair. I can go to a lower heat setting if I really wanted to. If she's doing this every day, which she probably will, um, yeah. she can go to a lower heat setting and not worry about damaging her hair. Well, that's really interesting to me. I also am just curious, this is just a personal question, um, because of that velvet flocking on on there are we also somewhat protected from the heat yeah because I, I mean I, I'm really conscious like I always use a heat protectant and that kind of things but I feel like this could be a little bit easier on the hair in a way I would say this hot roller in general is a more gentle but effective way of styling your hair okay so the velvet flocking helps with the moisture, it helps with the shine, it helps with the smoothness. And then the heat core technology, it heats up nice and evenly, so there's no hot spots along the roller. So you're not gonna get any part of your hair that gets hotter than the other. It's gonna be really nice and even. So now that we have this whole sectioning done, look at this. You see how we kept that volume away from the root? Because again, we want to go for that really trendy look. So we kept that volume away from there. Okay. And all the rollers are, are hanging vertically, not horizontally. Yeah, and may I ask you just about those two front rollers? Yeah. Did you roll the hair away from away the face? Away from the okay. face. Always all away right. from the face, especially these these two front ones here. Yeah, because that's the money shot, David. That's, 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 that's the money shot. shot. That's how I make my money with yeah, this that's, right here. Because that's her money and maker. Here. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, same for both of us. That's right, that's right. Okay, so now does that go for all the rollers? If I'm on the left side mm -hmm. of my face, am I rolling away from my face? And the right side, I'm rolling away. And then in the back, exactly. does it necessarily, is it, does I'll it matter? I'll show you here. So in the back, you can see very clearly, each side is rolled away from the face. So ergonomically, what you would do is your right hand would be holding the roller, and your left hand would be... I don't know if you can see my back. I don't know if that makes sense. But you would, I'm like, how do I do this? Should it's I like just put a wig on? I should just put a wig on and just do it myself. Yeah. I can show you the ergonomics of how to do your own hair. Um, it's basically just making sure that each side is away from the face. So the roller is in your left hand, right hand wrapping it away from the face, and then opposite for the other side. Gotcha. Okay. All right, perfect. Um, but I would say if you're going to really, really focus on two, like if you're new to rollers and you're focusing, focus on those front two, right? You want to get those away from the face. And that's always a little easier to do, the ones that are right at your face. So here's the DL Beauties. Um, you're getting eight of the rollers. They're in the one inch. You're going to see this gorgeous, effortless wave in just a second. Remember, it's the easiest way to have a hands-free style in the morning. And then um, here is the bag that it comes with. And then you also get the eight clips with it as well, six payments of less than a $20 bill. That's sweet. Ooh, I like that.